coach, you guys jumped out to a quick start. You really seem to be in control majority of the game. So how did you make things difficult for the Wolfpack this afternoon? Well, I, I thought we had a very similar start to, that we had yesterday. We were just we were able to get some offense to score uh, today. That was the difference. But really liked our start in both games. Uh, we're trying to go out and really establish ourselves early in games. And uh, we were able to do that. Uh, today's game is obviously different than yesterday's. Uh, we didn't give up nearly as much. We were able to, to, to maintain uh, structure a lot more through, uh, throughout the game. Um, obviously the opponent is different so it's a different style of game but uh, I just liked how our guys are starting to get get the idea of what it is we're trying to accomplish and three points on the weekend is is this the kind of weekend that gets things going moving forward well we certainly hope so uh, you know, we're not focusing too much on the points or the results so we just know we need to be more consistent in our structure, more consistent shift to shift, and we want to control play. And we figure if we can do that, then uh, you know the results are going to start coming for us. Our special teams were, were really good for us all through the weekend, so that was a very positive sign that gives us a chance to win every game. And and then uh, I thought we played very well defensively today, which uh, took a little heat off our goaltender, uh, which I think was important. You know that we asked him to go back to back here today after going overtime and shootout last night. I counted. Four or five times where Trevor Moore cleanly lifted a puck off of a player, including on that first goal. He was saying he doesn't think it's really a strength thing, it's more technique. Is that something you guys can teach players, and how do you think Trevor has managed to do it so well? Yeah, it's something we talk about and, and, and work at a lot. That's uh, something that we've identified as a, sort of a fundamental skill or a key skill that our players need to have to come up with those kind of pucks. So we've partnered with our player development staff to come up with. Uh, drills and habits and things that uh, can help with that, but Morsey's a guy that is a strong player and also has a lot of speed. Um, and as he's become more and more confident, he's he's gotten his body involved that much more in winning those types of pucks. So he's got the speed to get there. He's got the strength to get underneath guys, and then he's got the um, you know the confidence to to get really involved and come up with them. So I, I, he was outstanding today. Right from his first shift, it was pretty clear. He wanted to leave his mark on this game here today, and that's what uh, that's what he's capable of doing. And that's what we we're looking forward to having more of because he is a real difference maker for us. Coach, what do you like about the Marchman to more you know duo being reunited? Well, obviously we knew that there's a lot of chemistry there. Um, the way that that line played together with Adam Brooks in the playoffs last year was uh, tremendous for us. We didn't use Marchman in, uh, with Morsey yesterday, mainly because we you know we. We were kind of taking it slow with Marty with no exhibition or anything like that. But uh, he was outstanding yesterday in the game, so we thought that uh, shuffling things a little bit today, um, getting him more involved, and then reuniting with Morsey could, could help kind of kick Sardis. And that was the case. But uh, both those players, I think no matter where we put them in the lineup right now, they just, they're confident, and I think their experience through last season has really put them in a, in a good place coming into this season. What do you like about Marchman's game in particular today? I just like that he, he was able to step right in this weekend and play the way he played the playoffs. He's on the puck, he's winning loose pucks, he's generating lots of shots and chances. You know, he's being hard to play against the other team I don't think is, is uh, too fond of him. Uh, so a lot of really good signs the way that he just jumped right into it uh, this weekend. It was really nice to see and obviously makes a big difference to our team. Coach, did Engel, did he tweak something in warm up or was he just a healthy scratch last night? He got banged up yesterday, um, and he thought he was feeling okay going into today, and then ultimately in warm-up just decided that he, he, he wasn't uh, wasn't fit to go. So we had Picknitch in warm-up today and, and uh, you know, made him available. What did you like about your team's defensive effort today? Well, I, I just think that um, there was certainly more commitment to it for us just making sure we had uh, people above the puck and we had good structure. But I just think the – Playing good defense is certainly a big part of it, but as your offense gets better, it just it just makes you better defensively because all of a sudden the other team's not coming at you full blast. They're coming at you in the second half of the shift. They don't have as much energy. Uh, so, you know, we've been wanting to clean a lot up defensively for sure, but uh, we also need to make sure we're more efficient with the puck and we can hang on to it and spend more time on you know, putting the rest on the other team so that they're not countering in transition with as much uh, as much uh, gas in the tank. There's kind of a saying like defense wins championships, that's what you say, but for you guys, you know, highly powered offensively, 
and you can kind of allude to this, but would you say that, you know, strong offense from there with your group gets everything else going in chess? I think it's pretty early for us at this stage to really kind of say what type of team we, ha we have um, and how we're going to be. And we've been able to score a lot of goals. I don't know that I would classify us as a high-powered offense, uh, to be frank. Um, but we want to be a team that's good in all facets. It's, that's the goal. And as I say, I think the better you get offensively, it really helps your defensive game. But we want to be good in all areas, make sure that we can handle anything that comes at us.